Commissioner Fowler? Present. Commissioner McKibben? Here. Commissioner Scrivener? Here. Commissioner Rivera? Here. Commissioner McLaughlin? Here. <laughs> Commissioner Mello? Here. Commissioner Wegman? Here. Commissioner Couch? Here. Commissioner Garula? Commissioner Garula? Oh, okay. <laughs> of March uh, 23rd, 2016. So moved. If there, okay, a motion by uh, Commissioner Couch. Second. A second by Commissioner <laughs> Scripter, excuse me. Okay, all in favor, cast your votes. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Move down to item four, public hearings. Kern LAFCO 2016-2017 budget. Rebecca. Thank you. In your packet, you have this memo from me and you also have um, a copy of the budget that you approved at your last meeting. By law, you're required to approve a preliminary budget prior to the final budget. Okay, thank you. So I'm asking that you adopt the budget for the 2016-2017 um, fiscal year. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Is anyone in the audience like to speak on this item? Uh, seeing none, any of the commissioners? Motion to approve. Second. Have a motion by Commissioner Scrivener and a, a second by Barbara. Uh, all in favor, cast your, ballot, cast your votes. <clears throat> oh. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Move down to item five, public project review, Enos Lane Public Utility District, annexation number three. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that's a client of mine. The next item, McFarland, is a client of mine, so I'm gonna recuse myself on both of those. Okay, thank you. Okay, Rebecca. Thank you. This proposal is for the annexation of approximately 14 acres of partially developed land into Enos Lane Public Utility District for water. Um, the application, I should just note that the application states that it's undeveloped, and most of it is. There is just one building right here in the front of this, um, of this proposal. Um, the district has adopted a notice of exemption. They only plan on providing water to this area. Um, and I recommend that you approve the proposal, including the notice of exemption. There is 100% landowner consent, and the district has requested that you waive notice hearing and protest hearing. And so I recommend that you, that you waive those and approve the annexation to the Enos Lane Public well, Utility District. Thank you, Rebecca. Anyone from the public like to speak on this matter? Seeing none, commissioners? Entertain a motion. So moved. Sorry. 
Okay, uh, cast your votes. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Move down to item 1692, City of McFarland. Rebecca. Thank you. This is a little different than what the proposals that you normally get. This is for an extension of services outside of the city boundaries. Um, this is not for an annexation. This area is not contiguous to the city, as you can see from this map. And so they're not... Okay. Sarah, we'll get that up in just a moment. Okay. So here's the city of McFarland, and this is the area up here that they're looking to provide water to. The uh, residents here, <clears throat> their well is failing, and so they require services from the city. However, they're not able to annex at this time because they're not contiguous. So the law allows for um, the commission to review and to approve services outside <clears throat> excuse me, outside of the city boundaries, as long as it's an anticipation of a future annexation. Now, it can be, it's within this, the city's sphere of influence, and so it can be seen that it will annex when there is logical growth. However, they can't annex right now. So I am recommending that you approve this extension of services outside of the city boundaries for water purposes to this parcel only. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Anyone from the public wish to speak on this matter? Seeing none, commissioners? I'll move approval. I'm glad they had that option. Oh, motion is second. Uh, cast your ballots. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Next item is public comments. This time is reserved for persons desiring to address the commission on items not on the agenda. Uh, if there is someone, please come forward at this time. Uh, seeing none, we're going down to general business. Approval of claims list number 1603. Move approval. Sorry. Okay, a motion is second. Cast your ballots. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll go down to a review of fiscal year review of the audit 2014-2015. Uh, Rebecca? Thank you. In your packet, you have this blue memo. You also have a letter from Daniels Phillips von and Bach. They performed our audit. And you have a copy of the financial report, the actual audit. And as you can see from the letter, um, they found no, no issues, no unusual transactions. They had no recommendations for management. And so I'm asking you to receive and file the audit. OK. Uh any uh, body and audience wish to speak on this? <coughs> Seeing none, commissioners, entertain a motion. <coughs> motion to approve. Congratulations on a clean report, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> uh, did I get a second? Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Okay, cast your ballots. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, I'm, uh, I skipped one, so I'm gonna go back up to commission items uh, uh, and uh, see if any of the commissioners have anything to add. Okay, uh, seeing none, uh, I have a presentation to make, which I always love to do. So, uh, Commissioner Wegman, I have a little item for you. You got something for me, Mel? Oh, definitely. <laughs> this is uh, thanking you for being on the board and helping us out. We really appreciate it. I appreciate it. And we're going to miss you. Where are you going? 
I guess I'm going back home. <laughs> well, we've been very fortunate to have more school well represented. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cheryl. And thank you, everybody. <laughs> Okay. Did uh, we haven't done item C yet, have we? Okay, we'll move down to item C. Uh, consider opposition letter to SB thirteen eighteen. Rebecca. Thank you. In your packet, you have a memo from me. You have a letter of opposition um, that was actually written by Cal Afco, and you have a copy of um, SB thirteen eighteen. Um, this bill does several things. The most important thing that it does is it um, creates another unfunded mandate. And it will pass costs on to our agencies because the law itself requi has quite a few more requirements than we have now for services reviews. It requires that LAFCOs, um, instead of what we do right now is we review the services in an area and we review the special districts that serve the area or the city and we can also get information from mutual water companies and public utilities. This now requires that we review areas every five years and that if we find that there is a disadvantaged community um, that lacks water or wastewater or that it's not lacking but that there's a deficiency that LAFCO actually create a plan to fix the issues and the agencies that are in this planning area are not allowed to amend their sphere if within two years they have not acted on LAFCO's plan. And Cal LAFCO had issues with it. They, they talked to, um, there was Senator Wolk, I think it's Wolk that um, is the author, and there was a gut and amend. Well, the amendment still didn't fix, fix the problems, and unfortunately, it's already gone to the committee that we're sending this letter to, but we didn't find out until the 12th that this letter was needed, and, and it was being heard on the 20th, and the letters were due by the 8th, so I'm not sure exactly how that works, but we didn't get it until the 12th, and the letters were due on the 8th. So what I'm asking is that you authorize me to send this letter to, to the environmental um, it's the Committee on Environmental Quality, and also send it to any of the other committees that are going to hear this bill. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Any questions or comments from the board? <clears throat> Seeing none, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll entertain a motion. I'll move staff's recommendation. Second. Okay, motion second, uh, cast your ballots. All eyes, motion passed. Uh, thank you. Move down to item D, closed session, uh, with public employment executive officer consideration of se selection procedure for government code section 54957. At this time, we'll go into executive session. Okay, we'll come back into uh, uh, regular session now, uh, and uh, the attorney will discuss what we did. Mr. Chairman, there was an action in closed session, a motion by Count Commissioner Couch, seconded by Commissioner Fowler, to give the personnel committee who's uh, going to be um, handling the, uh, the, the preliminaries for looking for the executive officer, the power to approve the uh, ad that will go out um, advertising the position, the power to approve the job description, which, which we don't have for this uh, position, and to uh, uh, review all of the applications that are received and come back to the commission with no more than five of those applications and no less than two of the best that they, can, that, that they feel are there. And that was uh, unanimously adopted. Okay, now Rebecca, you need to make a comment. Yes, um, I requested proposals from um, four different agencies and we, re we received the um, proposals and you've had a chance to review them. Um, at the last meeting, you authorized me to spend $5,000 to hire um, 
a consulting firm or, or somebody to do the recruitment. And we received, one of the um, proposals that we received is from the county, and they actually um, will do this for um, any costs that they incur. And so they come in under budget and they will, they suit all of our needs. They will do everything that we need them to do. So my recommendation is that you hire Kern County Human Resources to um, start the recruitment for the new executive officer. Okay, now <clears throat> uh, we need uh, a motion on that? Yes. Okay, uh, motion? A motion, I'll move that. Did I get a second? Second. I didn't want to. Barbara? Okay, thank you. Uh, cast your ballots, please. All eyes, motion passed. Okay, thank you. Uh, nothing else on our agenda, so I will adjourn at this time.